Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller and I am excited today. I am back in Ephrata. I have not been to this thrift store since, I don't know, either late November, early December, something like that. So super excited to get in there and see if we can find any treasures today to maybe resell or keep, hopefully to resell. That's pretty much my, my whole goal. But uh, there are a couple things that I'm looking for for personal use so I'm gonna keep my eye out for those two while I'm in there so let's go in and see what they have today now also it is a Thursday so I believe they should have some type of decent sale going on oh yes 70% off of blue tags it looks like there we go so that's exciting These are really cute earrings. I don't know if these are like handmade. Some of them look like they're handmade. Ooh, those are really cool. Again, it's a silent auction item. Those are Fire King. I actually have one of those at home, one one single bowl. I was waiting to see if I could find any more. Alex and Annie, that's six dollars. go back to that. I don't know if the two pieces were both six. Limited edition, oh well. Huh. Look at this guy. Super cute. Oh. Artline, 1996. It's a bank. Very lightweight. I expected it to be heavy. 21 piece set, $12. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at those, look at those bears. So cute. $8. Very lightweight again. Looks like it might be missing something from right here. I can't tell. Oh yeah, probably the other bird. And he's got a chipped nose. That's unfortunate. I would have gotten that guy. See what we have. Some Easter decor. This looks like a Fitz and Floyd piece, but it is not. It's like a handmade ceramic. This guy's like, put the cookies in my belly. another one of those hands painted and Valentine's Day theme going on here little snow babies 
me. Oh, these are really cute. Look at these. 50 cents. Uh, I think they're like a Homco. I don't see any. Um... Yeah, they are. But they're really cute. They're 50 cents a piece. And I think they're just so cute. I don't think they're gonna have a high resale value, but I might I might get those. Just because I really kinda like those. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. This one's actually my favorite. Right here. Go to this side first. We have a Yankee Candle Shell Luminary. Six dollars, so I'm not gonna pay six dollars for that. I knew those were Avon, and they are. Computer ornament. Mm, their prices are really reasonable here. I've been to their other location and they were a little bit higher last time I was in there. This is like a trinket box. Looks like it's broken now. Some people sell bobbleheads for a lot of money. And I just don't know which ones are good. Alright, let's check this side. Norman Rockwell. This looks like Boyd's, and it is. Yes, it is. So I'm not really seeing anything so far as far as resale. Let's see, what do we have down here? A little covered bridge. Dickens collection, that's an old one. Those are kind of cool. Probably handmade. Oops, sounds like someone just broke something. Thankfully, not me this time. I haven't broken anything for a while. Fairy dust. This is missing the lid. We have a Lennox. Oh wow, that's that's really cool. It's like a faux perfume bottle. And it says Gucci. I wonder if that was like a store display. That's kind of interesting. I could like decorate with that. I'm gonna put that in my cart and think about it and maybe look it up. Kind of interesting. Up on the top, we have some candle holders. Mm, some kind of a copper apple. And we still have a couple of uh, Christmas pieces here. Two dollars. Trans pack battery operated all right I'm gonna spin back around this is kind of a neat little mirror so you might be handmade oh, a dollar 
I've been forgetting to look and see if I can see any blue tags. <laughs> Never enough coffee. How about it? This guy's cute. He holds something. But is it a wine bottle? I kind of don't think... I don't think so. Would that fit a wine bottle? It might fit a wine bottle. So, you guys know I'm going to pick that up. We have a reindeer. It's Kay's collection. That is a Dollar Tree figurine. Alright, here we have some figurines. This little gal looks handmade. Yankee candle. It is. It is Yankee candle. It's a dollar. Oh, that's broken. Bummer. I wonder if this one's Yankee candle. I can't tell underneath the um, thing. The quality doesn't quite look like it, but it could be an older piece. We have an apple pie type lattice clay thing that looks to be handmade. Lots of crafty people here in Ephrata. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's for uh, your popcorn bags. That's kind of neat. You have to really like popcorn. That's a little loose. And I think you have to really like microwave popcorn to have an entire thing like dedicated to it. But I mean, that's kind of neat though. holder. A little tiny taper candle holder. What is this? That's for a very large candle.
diffuser. McCormick Baltimore. He's got a little bit of wear. These are cute. Steubenville. Hmm. Temptations. Six dollars. So I decided to look up the crate and barrel green plates that are over there. And this is for four and these are sold. And that's for five. So I think that that is a good deal. are going to go in my cart. I'm gonna head over to the shoes. Might look those up though. Zaxi. They're almost like jellies. <clears throat> Oh, 
looks like we have another pair over here. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my GoPro down and look those up. So there were only a couple pair of these that sold and they were brand new. They did sell for like $50. These are kind of close to being new. And I think the pair over here is even closer. that bow is messed up. They might just pass. Ooh, what have we here? These are bionics. But they have your easy spirit insoles. So that's no good. Isaac Mizrahi. These are kind of cute. These are in pretty good condition, so let me give these a shot. I'll tell you one thing, the peasant boots, if you can find the peasant boots in this brand, those sell really well. I still haven't looked up that butter dish. Let's see what we have here. I haven't really been looking at the boots. I've been walking by them. Mm. Look at this mannequin's beard. <laughs> oh, that is a look right there. <laughs> oh man. That guy's got a full head of hair. Let me check him out. Look at that guy. It's interesting. Oh, here we have some some men's shoes. These Abio Biosystem. It looks like they were sold somewhere else first. $20. These can sell pretty well. I'm gonna pay $10 for those though. Some Dr. Scholl's. here. Native. I've actually sold these before. They're like foamy. I haven't sold that type. I've sold sandals, but I don't think they did really well.
right, so we'll do a quick recap here. What is this? I don't even know. Oh, those are the those are some of the cups. So I did get this crate and barrel set. And I did, you know, I never even looked up this Gucci. I think this was probably like at a display at maybe a department store. I could be wrong. Maybe it was just made, you know, and sold at like TJ Maxx or something. I never ended up looking it up. I just grabbed it. Got this wine bottle holder. Little Pottery Barn candle holder. These are more of the green mugs. Picked up these these shoes right here. And then the Umberto Ruffini shoes down there. Put these back in here. And then this is a really nice box too. Look at this box. So I did pick up these three these three trays a couple of them need to be cleaned up this is just more of the crate and barrel set and then we have the band-aids <laughs> and these gift boxes or cd boxes but i'm gonna see if i can fit jewelry or something like that in them and just use them like for you know for reselling all right, guys, so that is going to wrap it up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.